question here is uh, throughout this entire process, uh, were there moments where you struggled with like just the contents of the story or, or, or were there moments where you struggled with your own prejudices or those of others? Like, like, like walk me through that, that thought process. There were moments where I struggled with the contents of the story just because of how personal and emotional it is. Like I definitely shed tears writing and my oh, wife who's been nice. so, you know, helpful on the editing and reading. And like, there are parts where she says like, I've read 20 times and I cry, you know, still. And so oh, yeah. there, there was that yeah. piece of it where like, listen, some of the history is hard to confront. Um, but you mentioned, you said the word earlier, like cathartic, like, but it was also cathartic in, in certain ways as well. Yeah. you know and um and she, just to go back to kind of like thank you for paying me the nice compliment about the values of peace players but yeah you know it it, it, it knowing the story and, and not only doing the research but then writing it and really understanding it it did kind of place it into a broader context of like and the values that you said that peace players stand for is like right. what i try to exhibit in my personal life and, yeah. and everything like that but just just like really affirming those values of like see people for people and i actually mentioned that in exactly. the book where my because my grand again my grandparents like surviving the holocaust like my grandfather told my dad at one point in his life like never make an assumption about someone get to know someone for who they are it doesn't matter what they look like where they come from what they do like you judge yeah. a person as a person you know so yeah. i think that really understanding our family's story just affirm the values that i try to live by at least and you know that's like listen i and i haven't mentioned this yet like i volunteered for peace players when i was playing in israel you know and i went to programming where kids from different areas with different beliefs played basketball together and i spoke to them after and i said and i was playing professionally at the time for the team in jerusalem you know and i said listen if me and my teammates had what you and your teammates have today right. and what you're showing out here like we'd be so much better off for it so you know for all it's you know so i'm just grateful for peace players for doing the amazing work you do and for kind of standing up for those values that i hold very dear no, no, we're, we're, we're equally as grateful. Um, yeah. just, 